Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines with me, Eflux, playing this unmodded series. And um, on the previous episode we did some good progress solving some of the traffic issues on the industrial areas. But today we will still focus a bit on the industrial areas, although it's mostly good. We have small issues that we will tackle first. But we will wrap up this episode by fixing some of the residential areas traffic issues like, like this one. I don't think I have a big issue anymore. Well, this is getting quite big. And yeah, we'll get there. So first, let's go to the industry area. So in the previous episode, we fixed a couple of issues around here, here, and here as well. So we still have a bit of optimization to do around here. The first one is here. So a lot of cars are trying to get to the train station, to the cargo train station, and this is busy, as you can see. It's quite busy, actually. It's not too bad, but it still makes the traffic slow down a bit here. And eventually, it has to do with the fact that I put this cargo train station right on this roundabout so yeah this is this is a mistake i should i should have have i should have um do something like this create its own area where cars or trucks can come and load and unload stuff now the problem i have here is i don't have a lot of space to work with i don't have a lot of space i don't want to destroy this roundabout because i think it's it's still working okay but um Ideally, I would like to have some kind of bypass road where they can just... Only the cars that want to come to the train station, they would come and not be directly connected to the roundabout. What to do? I really don't know. Because this is so well aligned. These things are so well aligned. If I'm going to mess this up, I will need to redo this road this train track connection yeah playing here with priorities might not be good because these guys should always have priority and maybe that's what I should do but they have stop signs here no they don't have stop signs uh, let's see if I can let's see if I can improve things a bit so this is the unmodded version of the game so I need to play with the options that come with it. So I'm going to make this a priority road. Yeah, and immediately I saw the stop signs here. You see, previously didn't have the stop signs. So hopefully, and this one. This one has stop signs. Is this stop sign? Yeah, this one has stop signs. So the other one didn't have stop signs. Because this should be the priority, the traffic that comes from the train station. It might back up traffic a bit from here. But I think it makes sense to prioritize traffic inside the roundabout. Yeah, this one is already prioritized. Okay, small minor change. Sometimes it's all it, it takes to fix these things. Although, I'm not sure it's going to work in this case. Let's see which, uh, what, where else we can improve things. So one place that is, is uh, quite busy, although it's it comes and goes. Sometimes this area is very busy, others it isn't, like now. But I noticed something when I was um, analyzing the traffic here, which is, see if I can put the view of the flow. You see here, I have a bunch of one-way roads, and they all end up on this one, on this um, road. And if you come from any direction from this side and you want to access the farm areas, you have no other option than to come here or here. So all the entrances to this area are on this side. So what I want to do is to invert this one way road so that they can start turning here and access stuff here. Because I think this is one of the reasons why the traffic is so crazy on that side. It's because um, they all have to go to that roundabout. Oops, I almost made a mistake. Yeah. So, 
cars from this specialized industry, not specialized, these are unique factories, if they want to go back to here, they will have to go all the way around here and then either here or they will go through here. So I'm hoping that after the AI understands there's now a new way to get in here, that they will start to use these roads, yeah, and then they can use this, and then, yeah, okay. So we will see if they will start to use this one or not. Let's speed this up a bit and see if this is going to work. Yeah, it does seem to work. A lot of cars are now using this. Look, they are starting to use this more and more, so I hope it offloaded this area a bit. Although they still turn here, they go here. I should spread traffic a bit. Yeah, this is quite a busy road, but I don't think we can improve it that much. We do have a lot of density of buildings here, but that's kind of the idea for the city, to have it very much densely populated. Yep. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think it helped. Oh, now we have a lot of... Yep. <laughs> so what are you trying to do? Are you trying to... Yeah. This is another th situation that... Um, I'm not too happy about. Because if you are coming... Yeah, if you come from... Yeah, this... The way to access this junction... Sorry, the... The way to access this motorway is to... Yeah, they have to cross here. Let's follow this one. Yeah, they have to cross... They don't have a direct way to access this without intersection intersecting this traffic that comes from here. Yeah. That's why it sometimes starts to back up traffic. Because... If a lot of cars come from this direction and they want to access this industry, they will always cross this road. I guess I could invert the direction. I could make this road to be the off-ramp and this one being the on-ramp. Mm, but I would have to change the way these things curve, I think, for aesthetical reasons. But it, it, yeah, it it comes and goes. You see now it cleared up because they do have some options around here. Yeah, to turn around, it to go to multiple directions. I think that is okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Although yeah, it's not it's not perfect. It is not perfect, but I will leave it as is. I think it's okay. And how are we here? Oh yeah, it really it just this one. Yeah, this one change really changed the dynamics around here. The flow of traffic was really improved here. Okay, let's see the percentage. Let's see traffic flow, still not great. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why it's not great. Can I do something about this? There is a lot of cars coming from here. And then trying to, uh, I should try to, mm, maybe I can create a bypass road. So they don't have to actually go to the roundabout to access this area. Hmm. Can I do something interesting? I would have to destroy some of these buildings though. So. Oh well, well that was new, right? So that's what I'm going to try to do. So let me explain first and then I'm, I do a quick time lapse. What I want to do is create a road that um, will enable access from this road directly to this, which is the main road around our industry area, without having to enter the roundabout. This way the roundabout is more dedicated to cargo train traffic and this one and this road 
will give them an alternative way to get to the industry, the unique industry, unique factories, buildings without having to merge here. Okay, I'm going to do just that in a quick time lapse and I'll be right back. Okay, it, it, it kind of solved this problem but in an unexpected way. So what I was expecting is that traffic would come from here and select this road to access this, but actually most of the traffic coming from here actually wants to go to the cargo train station. And I think it's obviously because they have a, a, an access point here to this industry area. But the unexpected situation is that the trucks that come from here actually prefer to use this road which means that the trucks coming here towards the cargo train station actually have a clear space to enter they don't have to wait for these cars because they now prefer to turn right rather than go all the way around and enter here so yeah it, it worked look it cleared completely this avenue just by putting another option as you can see, this is my strategy, trying to understand the flow of traffic, even when I get it wrong, <laughs> just by providing an alternative way into busy areas, or e either in or out, it makes such a big difference. Look at this. This was so busy, and now it clearly cleared up. Obviously, it's, uh, sometimes the AI takes a while to readjust, and sometimes you think you fix a problem, but uh, you, you just transfer it to somewhere else for example, here, <laughs> but this was always a problem, this here. It comes and goes, and um, I don't really know how to fix this because of the space I have here. And um, this solution, let's see how many cars we have underground, because I don't know if this, okay, it's not too much, it's not too much. And uh, the thing is that they are merging to this lane because they want to turn right yeah, and this thing here is not the best, but it's still flowing, you see, it's still not too bad. Let me see the percentage of traffic flow. Okay, we're getting closer to 80, which is my target. My target is to have 80 or above, and we are just under 80. And uh, I will need to figure something out here. But I think in terms of the industry area's traffic, I think this is so much better than how it was two episodes ago. And basically, all I've been doing is trying to understand the flow of traffic using the basic tools that come with the vanilla game and provide them with more options. And options that hopefully don't intersect with other busy roads. That was it. On the previous episode, I created these roads, these roads, and they seem to be merging and flowing nicely. And this as well. Now I've created this one here. I also inverted the direction of this one, so yeah, yeah, much better. Traffic around here is much better. Busy, obviously, because this is very uh, highly dense industry area. I think it's impossible not to have a lot of traffic going here. And there. look, look, 80%. Nice. Yeah, this. I will need to think about this a bit offline. Um to see how I can fix this. They're all turning, I think part of it is these silos here are not good. Are not good in this way. This is a four way junction, which is something I really do not like to have. So I will need to maybe connect this. To, 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 to somewhere like here. Yeah, I need to, this connection cannot exist. I need to figure this one out a bit better. Yep. 
a look. In the meantime, while I was thinking about it, it cleared. Let's see the percentage of traffic flow. Yeah, it, it, it increased a bit. Yeah, but this area is, is prone to this. Because there's four warehouses here. Four, no, five. This is a large warehouse, yeah. So there's quite a bit of warehouses here. And these silos specifically, they occupy a lot, a lot of space. Because this road is not used a lot, I might actually transfer the silos to here. Yeah, probably that's what I'll do. And then if I connect this road instead of here, if I connect this road somewhere like... I could maybe go all the way underneath the industry area and connect it to like, I don't know, here or here. Because these are not busy roads. And I could channel all the traffic that comes from these areas to here. And actually, I think I will do that. Because if I don't do that now, I will forget. And then on the next episode, I will then focus on the residential areas traffic. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So this way, this would be just an episode focusing on fixing industry traffic air, um, traffic industry traffic problems. That's what I wanted to say. And then on the next episode, I actually focus on other. I think it's better that way. Yeah, I think it makes more sense. Since this is episode is also called fixing tra traffic uh, industrial traffic issues. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to relocate the silos. I'm going to connect these roads somewhere else, not here. And this will enable the traffic to flow better. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do that again in a time lapse because uh, uh, building roads, destroying building, relocating buildings is not the most interesting thing in the world to see. Um, but that's why, well, I still leave it in as a time lapse so you can actually see if you're curious to see exactly how I build these things. Um, but yeah, I think it's 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 better, more efficient, and more interesting as well to see this in a time lapse. Okay, so I'm going to do just that, and I'll be right back. It's, um, I think it helped a bit, it's flowing, a bit better, still early to say. So the logic is these two roads here, they, this road actually is not needed anymore. What is it? This road is not needed. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to use this one. Because there is no way to connect. Yeah, I don't think this road is needed anymore, actually. Let me think a bit. So initially, I had the silos here. That this this road connects the industry area, the agricultural industry area, to this unique factories area. And uh, hmm. yeah, but they why why would they go back? Because they first need to deliver the goods. And because I moved the silos away from here, they now deliver the goods elsewhere. Mm. Yeah, I think it would still make sense. Because mm. now I'm injecting all the traffic here. I think actually I should put the silos where they were. But just leave this road here. So they can still go to the... Uh, yeah, I think that's what I should do. Okay, pause. Let's move this building away from here. Uh, where, where can I put this temporarily here? Stay there. Yeah, I think it's better. 
because what I'm doing now, and you can see here is a lot of traffic as well, is that trucks from the agricultural area, they exit here, they go here, connect to this road, drop the trucks here, and then to leave this area, they have to go all the way around here, here, and then here, when they have just this nice place. And, um, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's put it here so they can do what they were doing previously. Which is drop the goods. Oops. Oh, this road is not on there. Okay. So dropping the goods here and then they would immediately turn around. And this road is for the trucks coming from the silo. So they can go and deliver goods to the factories. So most of the traffic will, let's say, terminate here and then go back without having to actually enter this space. Yeah, and then I can put the firehouse back here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see if this actually made more sense. Yeah, I want to see a lot of trucks using this and go yeah, immediately going back. Look, this is what, this is what I really want. And then they will only use this road, yeah, when they want to deliver goods to the factories using these trucks, yeah, or whichever trucks come out from these buildings. Oh wow, look, 25 in use, yeah, I think this is going to be much better. Yeah, I think the solution was just to not connect this road here and make it go around here. We will see. We will see. Yeah, having five warehouses all next to each other also doesn't really help, I don't think. But oh well. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We need to give it time. We need to give it some time. I think it improved things a bit. Is this road actually being used? Yeah, it's not extremely busy, but again, there's some traffic that prefers that. And yeah, I'm hoping that's going to be enough to offload this a bit. Well, although it's yeah, quite busy actually quite busy and there are some of the trucks are uh, despawning which is not a good sign not a good sign let's see the percentage overall oh, 77. okay this did not work at all no but again maybe I just didn't give it enough time so I'm playing with the traffic dynamics and I think the decision of the route that traffic will take is done when they exit the building. So if I change stuff in the meantime, I don't know what will happen actually. If I change these roads, they will still try to use, I think, their previous routes unless I destroy those routes, which at that stage they will recalculate the route. I don't actually know what happens if I mess up with their routes. Yeah, this is not working. Not working. I like to see this being this being used, which is good. So it it I'm 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 assuming that this will or is offloading some traffic. We have some cars coming here, but this one is still a problem. My guess is all these warehouses plus this. Hmm. Can I move traffic away from here, maybe? Can I? I'm, I think I'm going to do something for science. Just for science, which is connect this road to this underground road. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, pause. Yeah. I don't want this traffic connecting here. This traffic, this road. 
and what I'm going to do is to create a bypass road, a bypass road, an off ramp, Jesus. Okay, kind of like this, and then up, up, come up, like this. this and it was just connect come on curve like this why aren't you curving uh, okay okay let's do it like this come on why <laughs> you bend okay like this i guess screw it oh what what happened okay uh, it doesn't look pretty bits underground, so uh, screw it. Okay, let's see if this is going to yield any good results. Car should start to use this, then they will exit here, and then from here they can go wherever they want. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Let's speed this up a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, I think this is good. Let's take a quick look. So instead of this road connecting here, it now connects here via this um, tunnel, underground tunnel, and this is still very busy as you can see, but it flows much better than previously. Yep, and here we don't have so much traffic because things just flow. Yeah, merging this, which is tends to be quite busy with this one, yeah, it's not, um, it wasn't working out clearly, and now it looks like it's working again still busy because yeah I, I'll never do this again put so many warehouses next to each other but uh, yeah I was trying to fix it I don't know if you remember if you saw the previous episode like I don't know six or seven episodes ago I was having problems with the goods delivering goods to this uh, factory here and I was playing with the wa warehouse and stuff and yeah this is not ideal but it's not too bad either and that reminds me I should put some parking lots here I don't like to see these areas empty. Let's do this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, better. And uh, maybe some trees? No, no, I don't want trees. I'm going to use these. Uh, this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can. I can? I can? No, I cannot. Okay, then trees it is there. But here I can just put these things here makes the floor not from near from near doesn't look wonderful but from far it does look a bit like a, it's a sand or earth it should say it makes sense for an industry area and here I cannot because it's part of the building God damn it so annoying those little details but oh well it is what it is let's put some trees here to hide some big Trees, come on, let me squeeze one more. Okay, yeah, and it hides that part. Okay. Yeah, traffic is flowing much better. Did I transfer the problem somewhere else? Let's see the traffic overlay. Yeah, I still have 77. But it's from other parts, I'm sure. I'm sure it's this part. Look at this. Look at this here. <laughs> Yeah, let's, oh, in here as well, holy, well, okay. Yeah, I need to fix these things. I need to fix these things and this as well. Look how busy this is. Yeah, but that's going to be for the next episode. Uh, maybe, yeah. Next episode is going to be residential traffic. So these two episodes, or this episode in two parts, is um, I was focused on the industrial traffic 
without mods which makes it a bit more interesting at least to me and I hope to you as well and I think this is it I think this is it this industrial industrial area had a lot of issues and I think we fixed them all not perfect yes it's not perfect but it's always busy so we're always going to have busy roads I don't think it's going to be very difficult to significantly optimize the traffic in this area although I'll keep my eye on it obviously to see if uh, I'm not transferring problems to other places because sometimes it takes a while for the AI to adjust to the new um, the new routes but uh, yeah I think it was very good I hope it's also been useful uh, the things I've done here that maybe you can also use some of the tricks and tips for your own cities and um, I'll see you again in the next episode bye